Carter, and I am the registered dietitian and dietary manager at Wickenburg Community Hospital. Today we're going to make some fruit and, and nut granola bars, and this makes a healthy snack or take a long breakfast. So on my tray, I have some oats and some almonds, sliced almonds, and some coconut that I've toasted in the oven uh, just to give them a little bit more flavor. But before I pour those in my bowl, I'm going to make the um, sticky part of the granola bars. So in this big, um, in this big um, pitcher here, I've got about a cup, three quarters, quarters of cup of agave nectar. I'm using agave nectar instead of honey, but you could also use honey. You could also use, if you like, molasses, or you could use um, maple syrup. So I've got three quarters of a cup. And I'm going to add to that some um, coconut oil. And this is three tablespoons of coconut oil. I also have a fourth of a cup of brown sugar that I'll add to that. And a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And a little bit of salt. Even though this is a sweet kind of item, it needs a little salt just to balance the sweetness. So we'll put just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in there. You can cook this on the stove if you want to um, in a little saucepan for about a minute, but I'm going to pop it into the microwave today just because I'm in our little test kitchen and I don't really have a stove top here. So I'm going to microwave it for just a bit and now I will put my oat mixture into my big bowl. Um, you want a big enough bowl that you'll be able to mix this um, without getting it all over the place. I've got in here two and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, and those are the oats that take a little bit longer to cook, but they really do make a nicer uh, granola bar because of the texture. So set that aside. I'm going to add a half a cup of toasted wheat germ. Wheat germ comes usually in a jar in and it's near the cereals. Yesterday I had a really hard time finding it because I was looking in the baking aisle, but I finally found it with the hot cereals. So I'll add a half a cup of wheat germ, and that's um, the wheat, it's the kind of fatty part of the wheat, so it tends to get rancid. So when you buy a jar, keep it in the refrigerator and it'll last a lot longer. So I'll mix those up really well, and I'll check see if our mixture is boiling and it's just beginning so I'll give it a little bit longer. Now to this I'm going to add a half a cup of chopped dried apricots. So I just bought the, the apricots in a little bag, chopped them up just a little bit. We'll add that for some sweetness and some chewiness. Next I'm going to add a half a cup of uh, dried cranberries and a half a cup of dried or uh, raisins. Actually, yeah, half a cup of each. Then I'm going to add a cup of dates. Now, if you don't like dates, which I think some people may not, I love them, but if you don't like them, you could all, always substitute another dried fruit or just add more of the ones that are already in here. So I'm going to give that a nice big mix to get it all combined, really well combined and distributed throughout then I'll add in our agave nectar, coconut oil, vanilla mix. And it'll be quite sticky. So I'll add that in and stir it around just to make sure it's very well coated. We want everything coated with that um, stickiness so that it will hold the granola bars together. That's really all there is. When you make something like a cake, um, then you have eggs or things like that to hold things together, but in this it's just the, the liquid and the stickiness from the um, agave nectar. So that's just about mixed up. The recipe says to bake this in a 9 by 13 pan, but once again, because I'm in our little test kitchen, I'm going to be baking it in two um, eight and a half or eight inch pans. The key to this 
to get them out of the uh, pan without breaking them apart is to make sure that they come loose. So I'm going to spray my pans lightly with a cooking spray, and then I'm going to line them with parchment paper. That'll make it easier to keep them from sticking. And if you notice, I'm letting the parchment paper hang over the edges. And I'll, let, I'll tell you why in just a minute. But first, let's get this into our prepared pans. And we're going to smash it down. Um, I'm going to use my spoon because I don't want to get my fingers all sticky. But really, the easiest way to do that is to wet your fingers and just push it down really tightly. You want it nice and compact so when they're cooked, they'll hold together. So I'm gonna just push it down like this really well. Now these would be a great thing to add to your kids' uh, lunchbox, a nice healthy snack, uh, lots of energy. The oats have a lot of well, actually, everything in here is full of fiber, and fiber helps keep us full. So if you want a really nice snack to help you stay full, then um, this would be it. Uh, the other thing is there are, are a lot of antioxidants and phytonutrients in all of the ingredients. Whole grains, fruits, and vegetables have those ingredients, uh, those phytonutrients. So that is really good to help fight inflammation. It's really good to help when you're sick. So you want to make sure that you're you have all you're well nourished uh, to fight off the cold season and flu season. Okay, so I've got that in my pans, ready to put in the oven. I'll just go over here. I've got my oven preheated to 350. Oh, I'm sorry, it's to 300 degrees. The oat mixture that I toasted, I toasted at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. But now we want to turn down our heat to 300 because otherwise it might burn. So I'm going to reach over here and bring the batch that I made earlier today. And I'm going to show you now why I left those handles are in the parchment paper. I can just lift the whole thing out and Cut my granola bars into pieces. It takes a little patience because remember they're granola bars and they're going to be a little crunchy and a little chewy. But here we are, a nice little snack for the kids' lunchbox, a nice little snack for um, with a cup of coffee for morning snack at work. You can just wrap this in a piece of wax paper, pop it into a Ziploc, however you want to transport, and it's ready for a healthy snack. I hope you'll join us again, and have a good day.